guys sitting here at YCS Pasadena, my boy, Asian Persuasion, you Team know. Mortal, you already know. And we are here with? Cesar Alcaraz. All right. and what did you do here at YCS Pasadena? Top 16. With? Uh, the Dark Soup. <laughs> the dark soup. The dark soup. Shout out to uh, Alberto. Uh, YCS champions Alberto Conti and Marco Perico for creating this deck. Nice. Yeah. Alright, so, right, man. Let's see. Alright, so let's start with the deck. We have standard to Armageddon Knight. Here is this and triple grapher. Three Mali, very standard. I need to explain that. <laughs> Best card. Oh yeah. And I played some Phantom Knights. Very standard right here. And the one need this to uh, for the one card combo with summon sword. Oh the one card combo sword? Yeah. And some extenders. Oh, yeah. This isn't pretty standard, um, but like show we played a, a smaller danger lineup than than usual. Okay. Uh, because like all you really need is one extra summon, but the thing is that sometimes you'll just draw the danger cards and you won't draw enough warriors to get to a sold. But Marauding Captain is your extra normal summon that and you can like summon Armageddon or whatever, right? Yeah. But this is an extra warrior and it's a level three, which you need to make the bamboozle. So this oh. card in general is just better than the dangers. Like the dangers are nice, but it's just marauding is just uh, overall like a better danger. Yeah. Yeah, it's better than Butter Spy. Butter Spy it's sucks. Butter yeah. Spy. <laughs> yeah. Man. The car why I lost to in top 16. I drew this game three. Oh no. That's why I lost. Yeah, but so, this card's just like yeah. too insane. Yeah. yeah. And for the spells, the equips. Pretty standard. Ooh, five, yeah. Yeah, you have to play five because like malicious is so important in this deck that you just like always want to be able to summon either Armageddon or, or really Greffer if you have like a danger or any Phantom Knight in hand. Yeah. So you have to play five. And like all of these are really good. Like there's a lot of Sky Striker at this event, and this card's good against Sky Striker. This card's actually just insane drawing it because just being able to discard any Phantom Knight or any danger to summon a malicious is just nuts. And then this one is like the only one that's questionable. Like obviously in Goki it's insane because you need to discard stuff for like uh, mermaid and stuff. But in this deck, this is part of the one card combo by banishing Armageddon Knight and then summoning it back with Levier. So, yeah. That's why you have to play five. And three instant fusion. Three succession. Ooh, this is actually just like this, yeah. Yeah. this is the best card yeah, against striker because they always have a, have a link that points to your field. Oh, yeah. So this is always good if they stop your Armageddon Knight. Then you make a Phoenix and then bring it back if you have this. But I mean, you can play through a lot of back when you have this. Yeah. A lot of hand traps. Yeah. Too. And two call I the grave. And for the one ups, you have foolish. Once the reborn soul charge is standard. And three twin main it was really good. Two fog blade and yeah, you yeah. have to play like Brigadine is part of the combo to get to summon uh, Rongo because you just uh, get set this off of the Phantom Knight link. Yeah. Um, and it's like two is okay, but the thing is you don't really want to draw this because if you draw this and no other warrior extender and having to use this, then sometimes it's hard to get to Rongo. So one is fine because like you always have access to it with the Phantom Knight link. Yeah. And for my last three, three evenly match. Oh, did you find second or you always went first? Though? I was always going first, uh, but I wanted to main this because I wanted to side 15 hand traps. Oh, okay. Because I didn't want to just main three or six hand traps. I was like, all right, just main the main deck good for like every other deck and just side 15 for the combo deck. Yeah, I'm sure tricks. you didn't win every die roll. Like, where you go second? I won four die, die rolls. Oh, okay, so four die yeah. rolls out of what? 12, 13 rounds? I like, used to like three times. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, you was, go second, yeah, it's like, oh, good. sweet, cool, board wipe game. Yeah. And then, like, this card is actually just extra insane in this game. In this deck if you go second because if they end it doesn't matter what they end with right as long as you enter battle phase you evenly them then main phase two Dude, all you need combo. is one card and then you summon rongo and then they can't do anything anymore so you just combo them either way oh, so this card's like extra good in this deck so the deck doesn't even need, need its battle phase no, no it doesn't so that's exactly yeah. that's crazy is that 45? Oh, uh, it's a, a 60, 60 card main 60 card. Yeah. It's huge. Card, bro. I didn't think the new brick bro. It's huge <laughs> bro. Go oh back. <laughs> For the extra deck we got the these are all part of the combo yeah. card so and this and Sun and Sork, Levier. Like you play all of these cards pretty much to just to get this bad boy. Yeah. yeah. Can you show us the one card combo at the end? Yeah, sure. for sure, no problem. Yeah, and I it's don't the know fusion. It. And the MVP. 
Yeah. And that's like an MVP. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, just the fact, especially like against pure Sky Striker, this card is actually just insane. The fact that it's not targetable. So if you like can just snipe a Widow Anchor, or if you know where the Widow Anchor is off a of multi roll, you pop that, and then you get Merrimer from deck, which lets you go into eventually this. But even before you, uh, you get that, this, you get to clear more cards with stuff like Phoenix and Unicorn. Uh, Firewall. This is just a Cherry's target. Yeah. Cherry. And I play Dweller. Sometimes when they well actually I never summoned it so I should have okay. just played servers instead of it. Okay. Uh, it was it was, it was just there. yeah it was just there. But you always made wrong game yet. Yeah. Okay, so it's it for the main and for the side I sided 13, 15 hand traps for the combo decks I had to because I'm playing four, 60 cards. Yeah. So three Joel, three cherries, and three ash, three ogre. Uh, three yeah, yeah. Like since you're playing a 60 card deck, uh, it's hard to draw two hand traps, right? And against Goki, it's like almost we all know one hand trap usually usually isn't enough. So like in a 60 card deck, you have to side the most impactful hand traps. Lancia is pretty much just like a barrier. No no malicious and no Phoenix Blade and no Phantom Knights. Their deck just shuts off. Ogre, if no Midbreaker field, Ogreing Summon Sork or even is sold if they send three, is just super super good. And then obviously cherries can be a blowout and draw can be a blowout. Yeah. So you have to play the most impactful hand traps in your side deck for 60 cards. Yeah. Um, this card was like definitely the tech of the weekend. Yeah, yeah. it was pretty good. It was great. Yeah. Just show them the, the one right. card. Yeah? Let's do this combo. Was it just boots? It's uh, one Armageddon, Armageddon Knight. Knight. Everybody knows. The one card? It's like this card is bad, but it's just malicious. It's it's just get rid of these cards. So you know some of that. Okay. And then send Mali. We'll just get this oh, whole nice. stack over here. Yeah, you summon Armageddon Knight, you send uh, another problem in this format, you banish it, summon one, you leave right here, make a salt, uh, you don't search to play around draw, this is another thing, yeah. this, deck is, this deck is like better than Goki at playing through hand traps, because this deck doesn't lose to draw, it doesn't really lose to impermanence or ash if you have like one extender, like the only thing they can do is cherries, but nobody is playing like Rongo or this in oh, their that. in their thing, yeah, and even if they cherry is sold, usually it just, with just one extender, you'll still full combo. Yeah. So you summon uh, it's sold here. And you send the four equips. And then this guy. You have your equips right there. We're not right here. And the last malicious. <laughs> and you make summon sword. Summon sword. Effects. Target, target this. Target on the get it. Yep. Summon the this guy. Okay, so that's where the boot comes Yeah, in. and you get this back to your hand. You add this back, and then you banish the uh, Armageddon from Graveyard. So you Armageddon. banish this. It doesn't matter what other do uh, dark, I mean, warrior, warrior. you can banish as long this. As Armor right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Banish that. Well, okay. I was supposed to send um, with the second the, Armageddon. Yeah, with the new I'm Armageddon, you send, send, you send the Phantom. Send the Phantom yeah, yeah, and then banish it. Banish that. Then you summon it, make Levier. Oh, that makes Levy, okay. Yeah, then so summon. Get oh, again. Yeah. Well, yeah. oh snap. Did you send the Shudo? Yep. Yeah, that one sends the Shudo to New Armanite. Yep. Yeah. The Shudo. That's where the Shudo is at. Alright. Then you make an Underclock. So Underclock in the new loop zone. Okay. And you use this. It doesn't matter which one you use. The zones That's really don't matter. Format new dark guy yeah, yeah. This one, like the reason why this card is so good is that it sets this from deck so it sets your other level four yeah, set that. Yeah, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, yeah. and you send usually send this for next turn for okay next they turn. stop this guy you can just search the third boots and summon them and then you have this shooter on grave okay and then you summon this and you send the trap with this guy Banish this. Send this. Send this. Send that. Okay. And then you shoot it. Send this. The and then and you just Strudo. use the Strudo. You target the Armageddon Knight. This becomes level three. You overlay these two for Bamboozle. You uh, overlay yeah. these two for Ar for uh, Rongo. Yeah. And then you just use this as effect to, to attach yourself to Rongo. You have five materials now. Your opponent can't summon during their turn. So they can't play you. Yeah. And if you yeah. have one more extender, you make this with six materials. And yeah. during their turn, you just blow everything up. I mean, during the, your next turn. But yeah, you still have four other cards in your hand that you might not yeah, even touch. Exactly. So it doesn't even matter. Yeah, so, so hopefully they get rid of this, Konami. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say one thing though. 
it's nice to see a deck that doesn't use firewall. Yeah, like exactly. you can say whatever you want, like malicious, Armageddon. We we've all seen it in every deck for a while. But you didn't play firewall. You played firewall to just like firewall. Target. Like, that's yeah, because it's just a cherry target. This card needs crazy. to go. Like, because <laughs> I know a lot of people are gonna give crap for like, oh, this crazy combo deck. You played all these cards like Goki does, but didn't use it. So exactly. Didn't use firewall. It's like broken. You don't need it for this combo. Yeah. So awesome. that's crazy. All right, yeah. you got any shout outs? Yeah, shout out to um, Team Big Dog, my boy um, Brian. Uh, Jose Guzman, my brother Francisco, and Nuko. And shout out to all my friends and my boy Isaiah for letting me borrow the evenly matches. Nice. And that's it. All right, man. Thank Congrats you. on that top 16. All right. Thanks for that Thank you.